Oh, ich weiß, das ist er. Stop, I cannot help myself. Uh, you, you are awaited. This is the XD, X, I should say, it's the X Duo XD05 Balanced. High fidelity balanced DAC and headphone amplifier. And look at this box. Like that is nearly a face reveal. Wonderful technology we've come out with. The boxes can look like metal boxes. It's great. Um, we'll go through this in a bit because this has a lot of shit in it. What you're concerned about is the main unit, which is the, the unit with the unit. And I got it coming off flack off my phone. We got the wallpaper. And the wallpaper is not quite as high fidelity as I'd like. And that has nothing to do with the sound quality. But there's some issues. Before I just go, because I mean, here's this. Here's the XEO5 Plus, which I fucking love. And I think we've all been saying it for like since the original XEO5. I do the reviews in this channel where I go back and I look at old videos and I just say, hey, I think this is still worth it or this is garbage now, we've been replaced. So I do all that, like 15 episodes of review. Um, I did not steal it from Red Letter Media, it's just, it's a good name. Um, and when I did the first XDO5, it was like, oh my God, it's big, but it's just big enough that it could be a desktop amp deck. And it's just small enough that it can be used portably. I just wish it had Bluetooth and then all of a sudden, mag oh Jesus. Oh, I bent that real good, didn't I? Um, actually, that's just a dummy unit. But um, this came out, and this, please go back in. It does. Um, is the Bluetooth module, which you could add onto the back, and it, it receives Bluetooth, and they upgraded this to a new one. This is the new one with the, with the more microphone holes. So this does LDAC, and so this makes this thing like the greatest fucking device. It's got like a watt of power per channel unbalanced, and it's a quarter inch jack, which means you're not going to break it because quarter inch jacks are robust as fuck. Unlike that three and a half millimeter I just bent, this, and you could just swing it around. Woo! Because quarter inch don't give a fuck. That's why I like quarter inch. Oh, but it's such a big connector. Well, then get a little, get a little adapter. There's, there's a million little adapters. Just get a little adapter. Put a little adapter in there. Wow. This way you break the adapter instead of the actual, you know, cable itself. So I love this thing. It had bass boost. It had filter settings, which I don't care about. Um, it was nicely built. It had nice feel. So what happens when everyone's dreams come true? You get this. And we have to talk. I'm going to plug it for a second. <sighs> This is this is not an all win scenario. This is this is a split. I am half disappointed and half elated. Those are the those are the two levels. It's just it's not like meh. It's aw or ah. The two major benefits of the balanced, which costs this was like two sixty. This is four thirty. That's a chunk that's a big thick chunk more than that but two improvements sound quality is better not quite death on ray honey that was someone was like hey i'm either going to get this or the death on ray honey and i think the death on ray honey is like that uses that weird clear technology that like i've never heard of and it sounds better than most like systems so it's not a replacement for that but the death on ray honey is also a dac amp that has no bluetooth and is basically designed just to like just be a giant chunk of awesome. This has a little bit more personality to it and better sound quality than you'd get out of most portables like daps and stuff. So it's, it's right up there with, with sound quality. Uh, all right, so sound quality is up there, way up there. Love it, love the way it sounds. Not quite Death on Ray, honey, but definitely a step up from the previous one. And it's got Bluetooth built in, no more add-on module for the back. Well, those that, That's the two major improvements and that's it. Like, I, I've been thinking this over. Like, really, like, I've been mulling over it. And I'm like, those are two very... The fact that it sounds better, okay, we'll contribute $100 to that. And the fact that the Bluetooth module on the back of this cost everyone, like, 60 bucks. So, if you add that to the price difference, that's worth another 100 because you, they put it internally. Um, so, there you go. There's a price difference, $200, boom. Things that, el that have changed that I'm not 100% sold on. They changed the shape of the body, where the old body was like 
very ridges and holes and it was like it was interesting to hold and look at and all these sharp edges and I, I kind of like that this has been cleaned up quite a bit the front still looks the same the front looks almost identical they've actually just shifted the screen over which is filthy um but they've rounded out the edges which some people are going to take this as uh, you know what i could take it either way either it's a positive or a negative it's different um because they had to add the balance connector on the front they they just said all right we're just going to take this and slide this whole shit over just and then where's the volume knob go um there and i have my biggest pet peeve with this unit right now there's a couple peeves I, i've already told you it sounds better than the old one the bluetooth is built in ldac bluetooth is built in the, the range is bad. We'll get to the range. Um, th when they put the volume knob, pushed it into the unit, they didn't reverse its direction. So when you put this down and you go to rake it louder, you would think you would lift up like this. This action I'm doing to lift the knob up would raise the volume. But all they did was internalize this knob. So when you lift up, that's turning it down. That's turning it up. So you push down to go up. And I can't, my fucking brain trembles. I can't get over. Because I reach into my pocket and I'm like, all right. Down, lower, lower, lower. No, wait, that's making it louder because it's turning the knob the normal clockwise direction. And it's, it's numbered, so it's not digital. This is a legit full fuck uh, zero to nine. It's a beautiful piece. It's, it's if, other than the direction, I like the volume knob. It's a little harder to get to in your pocket. Um, they used to sell, when they sold you the Bluetooth module for this one, it came with an actual gate that you would unscrew the front to here and put a gate over that so it wouldn't actually get knocked around in your pocket. And it's a powerful unit. It's a watt per channel. So you don't want to accidentally fuck up the knob. we got to talk a little more. Um, so now you can't fuck up the knob, but it's also like... It's, you can't put it down in your pocket this way because the headphone jacks are there. So that means it's in your pocket up, which means you have ac you have to like thumb thumb wheel it um okay let's get over the volume knob i don't care if you hate it or like it i i'm i'm indifferent i think it could stick up just a little bit more it's just a little tough to get to it's like it's it's literally recessed in this hole and as much as i like the texture on it how it looks more texture needed needed need the knurling i need the full-on fuck you knurling i still manage to, to pull it off but it's like mm, i'm that close to loving it that close um it's got the same basic uh, screen as everything else. It shows me Bluetooth. It says what I was connected. It's showing me it's at LDAC. It's got 44.1 coming in. We're on filter number four. Filter's here. We could just change it. I don't care. I don't hear a difference in filters. And people are like, oh, you do. You do filter. Um, it shows my battery life. Oh, here's the thing. It shows the battery life. I got this, by the way, from Hi-Fi Go. I'll be linking to Hi-Fi Go in the description. So thank you, Hi-Fi Go, for sending it. Um, actually, I'll link to Hi-Fi Go and the X2O's site. Because XO was like, I'll send you one too. And I'm like, all right, yard sale. Uh, where is the thing? There, battery life. USB, nine hours. That's not that great. But there is USB. We'll get to the back. We have to talk about the back. Um, Spitafin, because it's got fiber optic and coax line, 15 hours. Auxiliary in, 24 hours. There is no Bluetooth in, which is how I'm going to use it the most. So I guess I'm going to find out. I guess I'm going to find out. I keep charging it because I know the review is coming up. Um, they've made some of these panels obviously uh, acrylic because you need to expose the Bluetooth antenna. And regardless of that being the case, anyone who's ever had an X-Door device knows their Bluetooth sounds great but has the worst range in the fucking business. And I mean it. If I have this in my left pocket and my phone in my right pocket, it cuts out. Not all the time. But enough to be like, what, what the fuck? So I have to put this in my side pocket, my phone in my back pocket. It can't go through my body. It works probably 25 feet away. Not, not. You know what? We could, we could do a test. Here we go. Where's my, where's my head, head, my phones? Let's do a test because I haven't done the test in the basement. I haven't done the basement test. We'll take a walk. Um, discipline. Lord Tennis Court. Oh, I love that song. That's good. Um, by the way, I modify these slightly with the pads and the the blue and the red, so I know. Even though if it's just like I see that it's blank, these could have opened black, and I would have been like, oh. But no, I made it blue and red because <sighs> up is that way. Okay, so we're gonna leave phone here, holding this up. 
can't let you hear the music too well. Oh, it's still going. We're still good. Okay, so why does it, oh, uh, 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 no, I could, can't, maybe, no, okay, right there, which is not bad, like, let's, let's be honest, that's, if you leave your phone over there in the kitchen, and you're working, and you want to clean up, but, ruined, I am not made of lead, the last time I went to the doctor, the doctor was not like, you're full of lead, so let, let's, let's, let's do the real test. I'll be turn this up. Phone behind my back. Fist against my chest. Broken. Literally no sound. Alright. Left and right. Pocket space. No. Not bad. Okay. Uh, the point of that whole walk and then touching is that things like if you have this in your pocket in the wrong direction where your phone is like not doing the best of bluetooth and then this is in your pocket with this against your body and not the open end it, it, it. so as long as you don't have those scenarios and you're not as big as me maybe you have more transparency in your body you'll be fine it's ldac it sounds sounds perfect um we have to move on let's talk a little back let's talk about the back for a second and then we'll move on to some of the, the more important problems. Um, auxiliary in and out. So it's a DAC, you could use a USB in, you could use fiber optic in, you have auxiliary in or out, depending on what's currently going on. You get your USB, USB in with an LED, this is for signal. You get your DC in five volt, this is for charging. You have a switch that's powered, external or battery. So you can use this on a desk. One of the biggest issues, did this one have it? I don't think you had it, you didn't have it. The XDO5 Basic had that same switch, which the Basic's over there. Um, and uh, that's so you can use it on a desk. You don't want to be draining the battery or charging the battery, discharging the battery, charge it. You just want to just external power supply, boom, flip it over, it's done. The middle of this has an AES port, which is a balanced coaxial digital, which you have coaxial digital. This, this, this port is coaxial and optical in. So you have coaxial digital in and optical in in one port. And then you have AES in. A mini XLR AES. And when you open the, when we finally get to the box of magic and mystery, there's so much shit. I love how the inside of this is also like a, don't bake a cake in this. I guarantee you it's cardboard. Uh, instruction manual. We got to talk about that. We got uh, the warranty card. We don't have to talk about that. We, we've got the, the cable. Hold on. We got the bright orange charging cable which is a USB-C to USB-C and they include an adapter so that's nice that's that's a nice cable here's the mini XLR AS plug um I'm sure people in the comments will know what you're supposed to plug it into because I don't like I don't have a clue on a portable because I'm assuming it's AS actually I don't know if it's AS in or out come to think of it now that i'm actually because i'm not i haven't used it because i mean what the fuck would i use it on is this english where is it hold please pressing this as you guys gonna connect with a cd with a player or cd which the as audio output playing music connector headphone enjoy which with as audio output so it's an input for the thing okay because it's an input okay I just want to make sure it's not an output, because if you have a DAC, if you have a USB DAC, and AES is something you could generate and send to another DAC, I wanted to make sure it wasn't that, it was, it's an, all right, it's fine. So, yeah, that's so you can input, which the problem is AES is essentially just coaxial digital, and you'd only use AES for long distances, like in a studio where you can go 70 feet, use a, you know, an XLR cable, it's got a higher voltage, etc. So I don't know why it's on this. Um, let, might as well go through the rest of the box. You got the standard... 10 feet don't know why there's 10 but there's always 10 rubber feet you got these little plugs for the three and a half millimeters you can plug the holes and they have little reset things that you could just take it out and hit the reset buttons if actually where is the reset button on this usually these players have a reset button hidden somewhere on them in case they get locked up uh, and then there's a bunch of little replacement screws don't know why actually i do know why because it also comes with this and i have not done this yet boys and girls um this unit did i do it to this unit did i change this to a burr brown to a, i may have changed the i think i did i changed the op amp in this this 
comes with extra op amps. And I'm like, but what am I supposed to do? Listen to this and open it up and change the op? Because that's what the instructions here are for. It's like, it tells you to take, take, take the screws off, remove the fucking whole fascia, and you could slide the board out, and then you could, is this open? Does this open? That does open. Are there more pictures? There's so many pictures. Just slide it out. It's fine. It's fine. Slide it out and change your op amps. That is a wonderful thing, and I haven't done it yet because I don't have, I mean, what are the ones that give, because this one's in it because it's working. So I'm going to have to change it out now, and I didn't do it before the review because I'm just like, it sounds good. Maybe this will make it sound better. Maybe if you get some Burson ones, they'll sound even better. You can do that. And then there was this, which was stuck in here, which is a USB nothing. It's just an actual metal plate. That's a keychain. It comes with a little keychain. Isn't that nice? It comes with a little keychain. So there's a little keychain. We've got a USB-C to USB-C, a right angle. We've got a USB-C to... Um, Apple Lightning, right angle. We've got a USB-C to uh, USB uh, micro, right angle. Nice connectors, by the way, all metal. We've got the screwdriver, which is a T4 for taking this apart. It comes with that. We've got the X-Duo goo pad, which is like a jelly pad you can put on in case you're going to glue it to your phone. You don't want that. We have the quarter-inch adapter that I was talking about. And they all came in this, these boxes. It was so many boxes. Please go to the side. I have to talk about more things because that's not important. None of this is important because there's, there's issues still to come. Remember, it sounds great. It sounds its cost. It sounds wonderful. I keep shutting it off. But why, Zeus, if you love it, why would you stop listening to it? Well, you see... Well, first of all, did you know... To, let me talk about the rest of the... Now that we've looked at the back... Bluetooth button for doing Bluetoothy things, filter button, input button, so you can change filters and you can swap the inputs digitally. Then the front switches are power, boost, and gain. No more bass. This had boost, bass, and gain. And people are like, well, isn't isn't boost bass? Isn't it a bass boost? No, 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 no. Bass was a separate switch on the XDO5 Plus. This does not have a bass boost anymore. So if you like that feature, too fucking bad. It's gone. Um, the boost is actually to raise the voltage to the op amps to improve for certain headphones. There's a the slightest difference, and I don't know if I could even quantify it. Just like the filters. It's another thing that it's like, yeah, it's there, and I turn it up occasionally because I want to boost things but i don't really know i have tried several headphones and then we gotta go because the gain's on high and it needs to be on high for these oh there is by the way i did have out the uh quarter inch cable to legitimately check to make sure that the balance side was more voltage and louder than the quarter inch single ended because sometimes they just give you the quarter inch as like a benefit like for just ease of plugging in but it isn't actually balanced and this is actually balanced um, the power, the output voltage is much lower on the quarter inch with the 4.4 Pentacon. Um, I keep turning it off. And here's the thing. The old one, you had to turn the volume knob down all the way and then go click to turn it off. This one, the volume knob, while being recessed and hard to touch, doesn't affect the on-off state. It's a switch. Not just one switch, boys and girls. There's two switches that can turn this unit off. Because if it's in your pocket and you flip it from external to battery or battery to external, there's no external power supply. It's off. And then when you're reaching into your pocket, because it has to be sticking up that way, to get to the volume control, that switch is sticking up too far. So I just, there's like two angles of failure that I keep turning this fucking thing off. I mean, it's bad when you have the gain switch and you like accidentally flip the gain up too high. And the original one had three gain stages. and the, Actually, this one has three gain stages also. This one only has two gain stages, low and high. I'm okay with that because I thought this was redundant, having low, medium, and high. Because, like, low was low, and then medium was, like, a little bit higher than low, and then high was high. So it was like, just give me two, and they've done that. So they've taken away a gain stage. I'm okay with that. They've left the boost, which is not bass boost, for doing whatever it's doing with the fucking op amps. I'm fine with that, too. They removed the bass boost, the actual bass boost, and now the 
act of turning on and off is a very, very sharp, pointy, sticking up, easily fuckable um, little switch. And it's on both sides. The one in the back is at least a little bit more underneath. But remember, if you're putting this in your pocket, that's, that, is an that is the only exposed thing there. And if it flips from battery to external, your shit just turned off. That it, it reconnected at least. It does reconnect every time. So it's like, oh, uh, that's the that's the the one that's like killing me. It sounds so good. I can get over the volume knob being what I think is backwards, where it's sitting on the desk and I want to go up, and that's actually down, and down is up. But I, I guess if if you flip it this way, then up is up. So there you go. So oh oh wait, we're not done. Fuck. I'm just gonna pause my music. On my Bluetooth control device, I want to pause. You're going to get me pulled off the internet. There's no controls on this for Bluetooth. And I knew that from the pictures of it. Like some other things I knew weren't going to be, but then like when you actually get it in your hand, and I just want to put this in my pocket, and I just want to sit with my feet. Can I put my foot up there? Put my feet up on, on like my slippers, on a thing. And I just want to have this. And I'm like, I don't want to hear the song next that was capable on this one because this unit that slops into the back of it has next track last track and play pause buttons right there and they took them away from me and i am pissed also there's microphone here which is a little like looks like a drain plug for a shower um and it doesn't sound very good according to my friends who i had a phone call with like it doesn't sound great it sounds like a laptop mic I kind of wish that was amazing sounding, but then you could just use like conference calls and that'd be great. But they took away the fucking next track, last track, play pause on a, now a unit with dedicated Bluetooth. It's got, it's built in, it's part of it. But if you remember my other fucking, the little X2O, it's on the other side of the basement. I'm not running to get it. The little X2O, oh, what the fuck, with, with the knob and the red knob. And I was like, oh, it's great. Where's play pause next track? Gib. And they didn't gib. And it's not like they don't have room. It's not like they don't have room. Anyway, I mean, yes, they've got three buttons on the side here, three switches in the front here, a knob, and then another switch in the back. They got a lot on it already. But a fucking Bluetooth device that doesn't control Bluetooth on itself is fucked. And I, that's annoying as hell. Because now this is in my pocket, and now I have to take my phone out to change tracks. And I'd have to turn my screen on to change tracks. So it's like I may as well get a portable a PMP. Maybe it's got a DAP. Maybe it's got a fucking portable MP3 player. And just pull it out and have that. Because the point of this is that I, I strap myself in and this is all I have to interact with to control my music and do everything. So obviously, I'm not controlling the volume here. I'm controlling the volume here in this big analog knob. So why can't I just, just next to it, a rocker. One button would suffice. One button next to a one. One big fat fuck you button. Press it once to pause. Tap it twice to next track. Three times to go back. The end. It would have been fucking perfect. And it's missing. And I hate it. That being said, the first two things do still stand. It sounds fantastic. The best sounding of the bunch. It also is only a Whopper channel. And... That's the final, like, it's it's not the nail in the coffin. They're, they're, it's not a coffin. I'm not burying this. I, we've all been expecting it too much. We all want to love this thing. We're going to love it as a family. This is like the, the the dinner where you sit down and there's fucking everyone's arguing. And Put away your cell phone. Oh, my sister's a whore. No, we're a fucking family here. We love our x products. We fucking love them. And we're going to get through this together. And don't call your sister a whore. Look how much smaller it is. I mean, it literally is the exact same size as mine as the Bluetooth attachment. Now it's built in, so they're automatically worth it. Um, I actually lost my train of thought. I'm going to look up some different op amps for this. Let's see what the hell these are. These are JRC553200. I don't know what that means. Because I, I want to use this. Obvi I mean... 
it doesn't even work as well for a desk anymore because this on a desk has a volume knob to turn and lower. Look, I'm touching it right now. And this on a desk, I could, I could turn this knob, I could lift, I could, I could lower it, I could click it off, it stays there. This, you have to like press your hand into to do anything with. Oh, and back to it's only a Whopper channel. So this is a Whopper channel. This this old one's a Whopper channel. It's an unbalanced Whopper channel, which made it still fucking amazing. But now this balanced one is a Whopper channel. Only if you're the balanced side. So we've got a less powerful quarter inch out, which is fine because most IMs will use that. And then you get the balanced side, which have, should have more power. And it has more power than the unbalanced side, but it's the same amount of power that this one had unbalanced. Why? Now, I'm not saying you need more than a watt. Like, that's that would be a lie. There's plenty of units out there that do a watt, but there's also plenty of units out there that do way more than a watt for reasons. Okay, wait. I would pause it there, but I can't. So Mr. Self-Destruction is literally going to blow my headphones up. I'm pretty sure that sound, by the way, cannot be detected by YouTube's fucking copyright thing. There's no fucking way. That is just the sound of explosions, death. And that was at nearly nine. We were like, mm, that close away from the fucking maxing it out. So it's enough power to run pretty much fucking anything. It would just be nice if it was like a watt and a half. Because we had a watt. We've already done this. We want more. We want, don't, stop taking away base boost options and giving us the same amount of power because at least there would be it's balanced so there's a little there's a little bit more separation headphones that can use balance hc 600s things like that are better sounding on balance i use those with the Dakoni cable on this and i was like oh my god it's it's one of those fuckitudes we got a fuckitude going on because i mean if we compare it back against the death on ray honey that has no bass boost that has no ability to run bluetooth into it because it just doesn't even I knew the battery death was coming and I didn't care. I just wanted to talk. <sighs> anyway, here's the other X-Duo that I'm talking about, the XP2 Pro. God, I fucking love this thing. And it has a play pause. So it's got like the one button to pause and play, but you can't next track. And it has the one button that you could just double tap it and you could do next track and triple tap to go back. And X-Duo didn't do it and it hurts me. And then this, they just, it's even more pain. Um, what was I saying before the battery died? <sighs> Maybe it's good. Maybe I just need to calm the fuck down. Just, just, just chill out. See, us. water channels, plenty. It's got better separation, better sound. It's, it's, it's got a higher end DAC. Actually, let's look at what this, let's go to Hi-Fi Go and see what it says. <sighs> Total harmonic distortion plus noise, uh, 0 0.0015. That's on the single-ended um does it say what it is on the um oh yeah on the balance to, uh it is 0 0.0008 so it's like half half as much as it so it's, it's it sounds so good for those of you watching this that are just like, well, Zeos, does it sound good? Yes, it fucking sounds great. Is a Death and Ray Honey good? I think Death and Ray Honey is a warmer sounding thing that does weird shit, like, to the sound. So I'm going to always give that, like, like, that's on my desk permanently when I have all these options. So links to the Death and Ray Honey, I think, on Hive I go. Um, but the Death and Ray Honey is an inconvenient motherfucker. This even with all the things it's missing, is still more convenient than that because Bluetooth exists and LDAC is good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Um, yeah, anything else I want to see here? Powerful dual DAC chipset. Blah, 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 premium dual DACs. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they're using Sabre DACs, which a lot of people are like, oh, Sabre DACs. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who makes the DAC. I care about how, it, how it's implemented. Have you implemented it correctly? Obviously, I don't care about what the DAC sounds like. Did you not see my Hollow May review? You fucks. Anyway, yeah, Alpha Power is one watt at 32 ohm. Does DSD cares? Uh, simple switch and op amp. Except you got to take the whole thing apart. There's a screwdriver. And a balanced USB DAC. A AES is like still just my mind is blown. Why? Why is there? Why? I'm scrolling. Still, actually, I got page up and page down buttons on this mouse. 
Ah, uh -huh. ah, ultra high OLED display. Does this have more parameters in the bottom that I could use? This one says the total amount of distortion plus noise is actually one ten thousandths, tenths, hundredth thousandths. It's one ten thousandths higher according to this than it is on the actual words. So, I mean, it's all lies now. You know, I, look, anything else that comes within this picture that I don't know about? No, 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 good. It's $430. That's not pocket change. When, when this was the king of the mountain, it was like, look, $260 seems like a lot. For, and for, for when I was a fucking audio noob, that was a lot. But you, I could use the excuse that you could buy this and this could be all you need. Plop it on your desk, leave it off the edge so you could reach the knob easier. This is your desktop solution. Oh, time to go out. Got to go bang Sally on the fucking back alley of a McDonald's. Fucking pop your Bluetooth thing in it. Put in your pocket, rock the exact same fucking high cost headphones. You know, it's a big monster, but it's. What is it? I said big monster and you showed up. You're a little monster. She does this every review. She like waits till I'm just ready to finish. And she's like, all right, I'm going to bring some cuteness. Good girl. You're a good girl. You love loves. Anyway. Um, so we're talking about banging Sally, but yeah, this was an all-in-one $260, you get into the gate, go, done. This is harder to use in a desk, unless they made like something to hold it like vertically, so that you could access that volume knob, and even then it would still be like, it's not, a, the fact that it's not easy to turn is good, because you don't fuck it up in your pocket, but the fact that it's not easy to turn is bad, because you can't use it like just nonchalantly. You have to actively grab this unit to change the volume. It isn't just like a whoo anymore. Even this one is a whoo hoo hoo. Look at it, it's like, whoo. Two fingers, right here, let's see if I can do this. I two fingers with this. I could do two fingers with this. I can do two fingers, I just gotta press the fuck down on this to do that. There are things I wish they would improve. Um, I wish it was $50 less. Keep it under that $400 line. Um, I wish it still had bass boost. Even though, honestly, I'm spoiled by IFI, like, Zendak, you know, magic bass boost. So it would just, it's just nice to have a feature. It, it needs Bluetooth control. It needs one button on the side. Not this button. Not this button next to it you put on the side that doesn't next track no matter what the fuck you do. It needs, it needs to control the Bluetooth. It needs to go boop. It needs to have better reception. I could put a fucking BTR5 up my ass and throw my phone off of a fucking yacht doing 90 miles an hour and I'd probably have about 30 seconds worth of music listening still going on because it would just communicate through the fucking airwaves, right? The quarks. It's got great signal range. Fucking perfect signal range on a BTR5. Why can't this unit, which is giant with huge windows, just do the same thing? Just not break up. When a human body, a, granted a big human body, gets between it and its source, it's like, nah, I can't hear it. I know LDAC's harder to do, but that's... I, 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 are, you, are you a shark? B, B, shark, choop, choop, cho choop, cho choop. What if she just started eating me? Like, what if she just violently attacked me? How? Well, at what point do I have to, like, punch my old cat in the face? Pretty sure I'd just let her eat me. Um, yeah, I think she signals the end of the review. It, it's a tough one because it's got the... It's got large pros. Sounding better than its predecessor, having Bluetooth built in, regardless of all the other shit having to do with Bluetooth, are huge steps in the right direction. I don't hate the case design with the smoothness. Like, I'm, I'm okay with it. It's just all the little fucking things. Like, they're, they're turning it off by accident on either end. And the, the volume not being a little, just a little bit too hard to turn. Just a little bit too hard to turn. Yeah, we lost bass boost. It's no big deal, because... X, IFI does it better anyway. Uh, I wish it just, it's, it's got these little feet, like just want a little more power, want a little more power, I want a button. I, I could redesign this in a year and we'd have a fucking monster on our hands. It'd be perfect. But like even if they just did this with the volume knob, put the volume knob on the other end, put the volume knob like so big that it actually sticks out the top and bottom of the unit. Like just, just so I can grow it. There's, there's things that could be improved. 
On the other hand, it sounds fucking phenomenal, and that is before I even done op amp changes. So if you if you had your heart set on this, as long as I didn't complain about something that you care about, who gives a fuck? Buy it. Do do, hoo hoo hoo. I will absolutely be keeping one of these. I have two. One will be in the yard sale next month. Put your bid on it. Bid what you think it's worth. Because it's, they're selling it for 430. Bid what you think it's worth. And if you win for that bid, I ship it to you free uh, in the continent of the United States or one-third shipping international. I am going to keep one, however, because I, I don't like taking the death on Ray Honey off my desk. Plus, it's a USB-only thing, so i got to fucking wire it to shit, and I hate that. Bluetooth. This is going to be what I listen. Every headphone that comes through my house, I have a choice. Either I pull out a DAP or I pull out this and I have my phone on me anyway. And what the fuck? Fubar's on there and 700 flax songs on an ex external SD card. So I may as well just fucking put. This will be what every headphone in this house is listened to for the next six to eight months until something replaces it. Because it was this. For the longest time, this thing was just like, oh, got a new headphone. This is just sitting on my kitchen counter. Plug it in, turn it on, turn that on. Separately, it connected, hit play. All right, this sounds pretty fucking good. I can't wait to get it on something balanced. Now I don't have to wait. It's just, it's the annoying little things. It just, it still sounds, it still sounds good enough to test it. Could you, could, what are you doing, you psychopath? Uh, rub your butt. If you'd like to support Baby Troopers, check back out the fucking Patreon subscribe star. In the description and pinned in the top comment. See these reviews early. And th th get cat pictures. No, cat pictures in the $10 tier. If you're in the $10 uh, t Patreon chat, um, I will send you pictures of my cat. She's so cute. Um, wallpaper, which that took an actual effort because I had to find the artist. And then he had like a collage of like seven of the same girl. And I had to cut out individual ones. And I, I just, it's cute as shit. Um, that's available in the description. Uh... This links to this on HiFi Go and on XDO's site. I'll still link to the XDO 5 Plus because, frankly, why not? It, this is half the fucking cost. It's 200 and it was 260. It's probably a little less now. There's even the basic version of this if you don't need as much power and half a watt, which is everything this does. But the newer build with the external switch in the back, so you could shut it off and use it on your desk without killing the battery. But you and you can still got to buy the Bluetooth module separately. I'll link shit. Check the description for linking shit. Um, yeah, no, this is not like, it's not a fucking, it's not a 10, but it's not a five. It's like a seven and a half, which after all this weight and all this hype is like a little disappointing. I wanted an eight and eight and a half would have been fantastic. If it had Bluetooth control, it would have been a nine solid. I wouldn't give a fuck about bass boost going or turning off my pocket. I'll just get a fucking snipped and snip the what, snip the fucking things off. But yeah, no, and I don't know what AES is doing. Like, you, somebody in the comments, please, are you going to use this cable? Should I get an AES micro to an AES like mega adapter, and then just like plug it in from a source? What source? The problem is that's a for a source in. What the fuck generates AES? Other than the fucking that thing, the Pi Two AES. So I can carry that around with a battery pack to carry this around, and then I can have it stream music from my fucking... That's not worth it. It's not worth it. Anyway, I'm going to um close this box back up, because I don't need anything in it except for the op amps when I check. I'm going to put this back in my pocket. I'm going to leave these headphones on and go back upstairs, and I'm going to listen to music for a little bit longer, because it sounds fantastic. It's just... Oh, indoor voices from Kevin Penkin and Made in Abyss. Yeah, no. Ah, oh, yeah, it sounds great. It sounds great. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Hi-Fi guides in the forums. Don't forget them. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah.